just got back into town from my first, well, my last, like, not orientation day, but, like, orientation day in the sense that I don't have to meet with, you know, people from corporate and everything. I, I'm done with that. Now I'll be all on unit. And um, for my 16-week orientation, it's going to be me on the floor, and I have to attend these uh, NICU foundation courses, which help us learn what we need to know for the floor. Um, today consisted of us finishing up the corporate stuff and then for the last couple of hours the educator from our from the NICU came excuse me came and got us to new grad NICU nurses gave us a tour um, gave us our scrubs because we don't have the card for the scrub machine um, we'll get that I think at the end of the week but she gave us scrubs to wear to work tomorrow because we're going to shadow from 7 to 3 p.m. She showed us where our locker is going to be. She gave us a tour. We met who we're going to be training with. Um, it was nice. We got to see the whole floor and oh my god guys we're going to be um, we can be floated to mother baby and postpartum. So that those are two other specialties I was interested in. So the fact that I get to float to them here and there is absolutely amazing, I think. <laughs> so that is lovely. Um, I got my orientation folder that I'm going to review and everything for tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I, it, was, it was a good day. So I'm just happy that moving forward I'm going to be on... On the, on the floor and I'm gonna go get a car wash because we got so much snow and my car is absolutely disgusting from the outside so I'll catch up with you guys when I get home I guess everybody has the same idea of coming to get their car washed I think I would have been done with my car wash if I would have stayed at the other one but instead my dumbass decided to drive to the car wash on the other side of town closer to where I live and it's just as packed over here but I'm gonna wait because I desperately need a car wash first day of shadowing so she's having a shadow from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. which is nice because then the rest of the week we have the mandatory NICU foundation courses we have to attend so her keeping us till three is amazing since we're working every day this week but it's only Tuesday <laughs> we got a long week guys um, I have my scrubs in my bag that she gave us to change into because we don't have access to our um, key for the scrub machine. She said that the person who's in charge of that won't be in until the end of the week, so we probably won't get it until next week. Uh, so she gave us some to bring home with us and then we'll change in the locker room. Yeah, I'm so excited to shadow today. She gave us our orientation folder. I know I didn't show you guys anything last night because um, we literally went to Costco, came home. I printed some stuff out for the clinical, for the foundation courses later in the week and I went straight to bed. <laughs> so I'm hoping to show you guys more sometime this week. I know I said maybe today, um, but we're a little bit all over the place. But you'll definitely see that in this vlog at some point. Um, but I'm just going to drive to work, listen to a podcast, and I will let you guys know how my first day on the unit goes. But I'm so excited.
I'm so thirsty. Oops, wrong one. But it is three o'clock. I just got done with my shift. I didn't change out of my scrubs because we don't have access to the key card and she wanted us to take it home with us, wash it, and wear it Monday, Tuesday. <sighs> my legs hurt. I don't think I sat for more than 15 minutes. That's wild. Unfortunately, I need my GPS to get home, so I will talk to you guys once I'm there. These make good granola minis and strawberry. So good. And I'm like the world's pickiest eater. Um, these are nut free organic. Uh, dedicated facility, facility free from the following common allergens, peanut, dairy, wheat, and gluten, sesame, fish, selfish, soy, egg, and tree nuts. This sounds healthy, right? But yeah, I recommend it. Today was my first day trying it and I get proof. I almost bought another pack of those granola minis. Today was my official first day on the unit. It was strictly shadowing from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. And as you guys saw, my drive there was absolutely beautiful. It was way too early for life though. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was really good. The nurse I shadowed with had been there or has been there for 12 years, I think she said, and she absolutely loves it. Um, we had a little bit more of a heavier patient load for uh, their NICU because they're understaffed. Um, so usually we just get two patients and she had triplets and another baby. So four patients total. Uh, but she made it seem like nothing. She was going in and out of there, doing her feeds, changing the diapers. Like, I want to be her when I grow up. <laughs> uh, but overall, such a good day. Um, I got to see what the day mainly consists of. It's very repetitive. Uh, mainly feedings, changing the diaper, burping them, giving meds if they are on any. Uh, I got to see an admission. I got to... You guys see them place the CPAP machine on the newborn. Uh, I got to see quite a bit. It wasn't a bad day at all. It's like I'm brain dead. I also got my parking situation handled because I never got a parking pass, but now my ID works. So good first day, honestly. Now for the rest of the week, I will be going to the NICU mandatory uh, classes from eight to four. And I won't be back to my unit until Tuesday, so not too shabby. But I wanted to show you guys my badge. I honestly think I might take off the highlighter pens and the pen from it because it's weighing it down a bit. But let me cover my badge. This is the real I Love Tiny Humans because duh. Uh, and then I have my ID, obviously. And on here, I have this cute pen holder that I got from a friend. Uh, I think I might order a cuter one, but my lips are always dry, so this is absolutely a must. I have this little light that I ordered on Etsy. So, yeah. I have a highlighter, permanent marker, and a small pen, but I, th I think this is coming off because my ID badge the whole day, I think, is like this, and I don't like that. So it's a little bit on the heavier side. Really quick, I wanted to show you guys what's in my backpack uh, just because nothing has changed the past couple of weeks. So I want to do it now that I'm officially on the unit so you guys can see what I carry around. And maybe like three months from now, once I'm done from orientation, we'll see where I'm at. I'll do an updated what's in my bag. But I got the Dag Dagning Dover backpack. The large, I think. And I have no regrets, to be honest. <laughs> so I'll show you guys what I have. But there's this top 
pocket in here my keys always go in there so my keys are all the way at the bottom most of the time um so that's fabulous i'm going to show you guys what's in this front pouch i have some lotion because my hands are always dry chapstick because i'm always in need of a chapstick a portable battery that i got on shane really like it it's the uh, magnetic one and then i just have some highlighters and markers and pens always have an extra charger and i think that's it for that pouch another pen i always like to keep an extra water bottle over here just in case um you know i lose my i just lose my water bottle speaking of I've been dying to have one of these at home. Hey, Afro. Oh, I love that. So the backpack actually has two pockets. This pocket back here and the pocket all the way back here. So we're going to we're gonna go to the next one. Oh, I have my pants that I never changed changed back into um so in here I just have this cute notebook that I have been using to take notes this is what I got in Italy by the way um and in here I just take notes from what I learned on the floor or at previous orientation days uh, I carry my everyday bag which is my little uh lululemon bag In here, I got this in Rome and I put my two nursing pins, the one from LPN school and the one just now from graduation is on there. Uh, but in here I have my stethoscope, which I just got and I absolutely love. It has the adult belt and the pediatric. Um, apparently there's a neonate one. Uh, some of the nurses have the one specific to the NICU. I don't think I'm going to buy another one because I see some girls, not a lot, but some girls do have this type of diaphragm on it. So I'm going to use this as much as I can. I, I really don't want to buy another one unless it's absolutely necessary. But I just have this in its pouch right in here in case I need it. I haven't needed it yet. Today was just shadowing, so they didn't ask us to bring anything on the floor with us other than a pen and a little notebook if we wanted to take notes, but it was just a, it was just strictly observations today. The same pocket, I have uh, this little, what do you call it, clip that can go on your scrums. If I think it's just mainly if you're working nights because it's just a little light. So I really like that. I have I carry that in here. I haven't needed it yet, but we'll see if I use it. This pouch just has um, tampons, pads, you know, just the feminine necessities. This small pouch came with the bag and I clip it in here. So I'm not gonna unclip it, but this just has extra pens and markers um, for me. I think I was going to order more pens on Shane. I do not need any more. Let's see. I also carry this Brazilian Crush uh, spray. But I might take this out of my bag because we really aren't supposed to be spraying ourselves with any um, fragrance. Oh my god, I got more pens all the way at the bottom. That's so funny. What's this? And this is what uh, my clipboard is going to be. It's just a little binder with a notebook in it. And I plan to put anything uh, specific to my unit on here. Um, so just some notes I've been working on. And then the backpack also on the inside of this pouch has two zippers with pockets. I don't know what I have in them, but I have an idea. Oh yeah, my tea bags. I love chamomile tea. So if I'm working and I am in the mood for some tea, I have some on there. And then I always carry a toothbrush, toothpaste, and some mouthwash because, you know, we don't need our breath stinking. Uh, the last pocket, so this one all the way back here. 
just has let me make sure i'm not showing anything all the folders i've gotten so far through this orientation process the one specific to my unit is this one and in here i have some of the materials that they gave us specific for um the nick you foundation courses and on the other side i just have stuff that i'm gonna need for when i'm officially you know on the floor with my preceptor so we have like an uh, NICU nursing orientation competency checklist um, so that's all in there and I don't take it out of my backpack I just leave all these three folders this one is the um, regional orientation for the hospital that I attended I'm not sure what's in here this one in here is specific to the union and this one's specific to my unit so that's what I have in there um, I also have this uh, itty bitty guide for the NICU that I got off of Tiffany. I cannot pronounce her last name, but she has all this on her website. Um, so I'm going to use it as a reference to review, uh, review fertile, fertile, to review fetal circulation, types of oxygen support. She just has great stuff in here that will help me uh, succeed in the NICU. I will also link, uh, not link, but I'll put the a picture of the um textbook that i have i don't want to carry it around in my backpack because it's a thick textbook and i don't need it while i'm on the unit but i will refer to it to just you know read on certain um conditions or types of oxygen machines that we're using but yeah that's what's in my backpack guys um hopefully i went through that pretty quick because i am tired and i honestly just want to get changed out of these scrubs because I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to go get um, my x-ray because my back is its really just getting worse. So I'm going to shower, go get that taken care of, and then um, come home and cook because I have the rest of the afternoon off. And then I'm just going to get my bag ready for tomorrow for the NICU foundation courses. So love that for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see you guys later. What? I just got home and you're annoying me. Oh, but good, good morning. No, it's not morning. I just got home from my education day. We had the NICU foundation course and they let us out a lot early, which I am here for, but now I'm starving. So I'm going to make myself some lunch. I'm going to turn on my air fryer. Um, I'm going to have the sandwich I packed. Um, I think not what? The sandwich I packed, I'm going to throw some tater tots into the air fryer um, and have that for lunch and then um, just go about my day. It's 12 o'clock. I have to call HR because something's weird about my payroll. So I just have questions about that. Um, we need to make a to-do list because there's a little, quite a few things I want to get done. So I'm going to take advantage of this day, probably do some laundry in here, not too sure yet, or go to my mom's. But first I need to eat because I'm starving. I went to Home Goods and I got myself a whole, not a whole new set, but I got new sets of plates, um, some soup bowls, uh, small little uh plates and her not gonna be so mad but it's okay because i really wanted to do this so i already like took everything out and loaded it into the dishwasher and then probably next week or the week after i will go and grab some more but i really like it my skin has been acting up i have like dry patches just this section right here you can even see how weird it looks compared to this side this one's completely normal this one i think I don't remember which oil I put on my face, if it was the hyaluronic acid, the retinol, or some other one that I have. I put it on my face, it burned a little bit, and then I brought it down to my neck and it burnt all right here. And now it's like white and flaky and it feels weird. So I think it's a burn to some extent, uh, but it just feels so weird. I've been putting Vaseline on it uh but it's still there and it's been a couple of days 
But anywho, right now I need to get dinner going. I'm gonna just throw some tilapia into the air fryer, make some quinoa with corn, and we're just gonna have that with some, if the broccoli's still good, I'll do the broccoli. But this is my donation pile. We need to pack this up because she's getting donated. <laughs> Thank you.